Welcome to the Good Karma Sport Fishing Podcast. I'm your host, Captain Ryan Van Fleet. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So this is a little bonus podcast today with a fishing tip. So I'm going to share with you a good fall lure that you guys are probably need to get going on, especially for the guys that want to troll fast. And I have not talked about it. It's a special lure that works really in the fall. Like, and then it's, it kind of dies out when it gets cold. But this is for the guys that like to pull fast. They're not in the planers, but they like to pull, um, pull pretty quickly. And you're, this will get you like instant results, really. So um, I'm doing this today. Uh, I'm doing this podcast today, kind of because it was a. This is for somebody that passed away yesterday. That was a client of mine. Junior uh, died in a car accident on couple days ago and I got a message early this early yesterday morning from his buddy who, who fished with me and let me know so I'm just doing this podcast for him and I'm dedicating him because he was it was a really he was a really good guy from what I from and it just it just really hurt yesterday and today I'm just I just wanted to do something special for him so I just wanted to dedicate this podcast to him. Um, it was so funny when we fished together. He, um, the, him and Randy, his buddy, and we're just fighting back and forth about one wanted to fish for tuna, one wanted to fish for mutton snappers, and one guy was bitching about the other guy about I don't like to eat tuna, I like to eat snapper. And, you know, it's just, it's typical because the shit happens like that on charters. But these guys were just funny, and they just were just, you know. I've known Randy uh, through Facebook for for he's followed me on Facebook for years. So I've just known him through different avenues of the fishing community. So, and it was just, I was just lucky enough to be able to fish with him and junior. It was just a coincidence actually. So that junior booked the trip and then Randy was a friend to him. So it's just, anyway, so it's just a small knit community in South Florida when, when, with guys that fish together. And so, I remember we went amberjack. I like that. We went fishing for buttons, and you know, I, the of course the first drop there was nothing but amberjacks biting, and Junior had to pull one up from the deep, and oh my god, it just literally kicked his ass, and we were just they were just laughing about it, and he was, I was like, he was so spent. I just remember, oh my gosh, so it was just. So I'm sure he's up there. Like I go, man, if there's any amberjacks up there, I'm sure he's gonna find one. So, but I, like I said, I just want to dedicate this to him today and guys, life is too short. So uh, make the most of it and just try to live your best life, man. That's it. And one thing that's, so why I'm dedicating this podcast, what I'm doing today is that I fished on that charter with him and, and Randy with, with a lure I haven't talked about yet. And I wasn't going to share this lure, but as a memorial for him, I am going to share it today because we caught some nice tunas on that lure. And, and it's a, it's a, we were wahoo fishing in the morning, but we were late to the wahoo bite. So, but we, we caught the tail end and we caught the tunas and, but we got a nice one that day. But anyway, so the, the lure that I really recommend you guys using if you're if you're into high speed trolling and trolling fast and you don't want to mess with planers and downriggers. I know a lot of guys don't like to do that. They love to troll the marauders and the nomads, which I don't like. And but this this lure here is going to catch you consistent. It's going to get you consistent bites. Now you have to use it between now and December. Then after December it falls off. And I'm not the only one that uses it down here. So, and I'm not the only one that's made that observation. So it's, I've been using this lure for years and it just so happens I ran into somebody that's been doing the same thing and that's just how fishing works. So we were able to put our brains together with it. So, but it is the, the name of the lure is the Halco, um, the Halco Max Biblis. And you want, the color that you want to buy is the hot sardine color. And it's a six, 0.35 ounce lure, or you can get the 5.75 ounce. They're seven and a half, 
you know, and almost, and then there's one that's seven and a half, and there's one that's eight inches. And then you, the second color you need to get is that Halco Max Chrome Tiger in that. Now, they do have the bait fish, but honestly, I haven't had much luck, surprisingly, with the bait fish color in that. I've had my number one luck has been, my, my best luck's been on that hot sardine, and that's the color I used that, that I used on the charter. And the Halco Max um, Chrome Tiger, that's a killer. It's a new new one out by Halco, and like I said, that if all you gotta do is just take a look at it, and you're gonna know why. So you don't have to run that with wire either. You can run it with a hundred pound or eighty pound. Just do a old loop nut. I don't know. I I still run it with wire, but you don't really need to. It's just for me. I feel that my lures track better with wire. My the, my hard baits. So as far as my my down like my diving plugs and stuff. Now what really is nice about it is that it sinks. And it tracks well in all sea conditions. So you can pull this thing at like super fast. The action is insane. And they've got the single replacement hooks that guys like. So it's just a great lure. So like I said, the only time I really – the only I, I use this lure now between now and December. So it works awesome. And I even run it off my downriggers sometimes when I, when I feel the need to. But – Really, it's for the guys that want to pull quick and that, that are into using the Marauders and the Yozuri Benitos. Guys, this is what you need. The action is incredible. It's got an awesome tail shake on it. That's the vibration that it puts out. And they this this hot sardine color always sells out. And it's it's like a huge seller. And it's hard to get a hold of these. It's just a it's just, just an awesome color. It's just, especially for the fall. Like I said, when it gets cold, it doesn't really I I. I like I said, it just kind of drops out. I don't have hardly any luck on it, but now's the time. So I'll put a, I'll try to put a link up in my in my store for these. But anyways, it, they sell out so quickly that like if I might be able to, I might not. But I want you guys to check out the Good Karma uh, Fishing Tackle dot com for these items. And like I said, I might make twenty cents off of a lure if that. They're mostly for. Um, for you guys to find everything. And I put them right there. And when you go through Amazon, obviously you get the best price with free shipping. And that's how that works. So, again, it's the Halco Max Bibless Lure. And it's dedicated to my man, Junior. And it's got a lot of love with it. So, this is the lure that you need. And when you send it, man, think of him. And send him some prayers. Because in the sport fish community, it's, it's tough to lose anyone that has a passion for that and it just it just really hit man so anyway so send you some love man and stay away from those aj's up there <laughs> so guys that's all i got just a short little fishing tip today and a little dedication to my bro and follow me on instagram good karma sport fishing underscore fl underscore keys and then you can check out the tackle store where you should, where I'll be able, where you'll be able to find the the Halco uh, Max Biblis lures, like the bigger ones that that work really well. Now I use the smaller ones too. That's, a, I mean, you guys know that there's a, some small ones in there. Actually, it's in there already. It's in there as a small bait. So, but um, I'll s just go in there and click around, and you'll find it. So it's it's already in there. If you guys haven't bought that yet, you guys are missing out. Just buy the bigger one, the Halco Max 190, if you want the Wahoos. But that smaller one, I've caught some many Wahoos on that. <laughs> so you guys are missing out on that lure, man, if you guys aren't sending it. Oh, man. So, but uh, especially if you're down here tuna fishing. That's all I got, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And remember, anytime you're fishing, it's all good.